stupid owl! Stop staring at me! I still get nervous with that thing staring at me every time we start up these episodes, damn it. Uh, whatever. I shouldn't worry about it. So I'm not going to. Also, is there something else behind Woodfall Temple? Uh, I feel like I probably shouldn't check right now. I'd love that I have to play this song and get back up there again. So I can take my chances. Also, I should probably go to this regular link because I don't trust myself. So, we finally made it to our first dungeon, the Woodfall Temple. And I see a stray fairy. Welcome back, everybody, to watch play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is your host, MJ406. Thank you, fairy, for comforting me. Appreciate it, I guess. There's a lot going on down there. I see the bottom screen. I'm slowly uncovering a map as I go. Also, there seems to be like a Majora's Mask symbol here. Also, I put this on. Now I'm going to attract great fairies to you. Yeah, great fairy, this is your first one. There are numerous great fairies to find every single one of these dungeons, so get comfortable. You're going to be hunting down a lot of those things. What the heck is that? It's a black bow. Let's come down and attack it. Look, there are just a lot of them. That's all. No, look right over. Don't worry, they're only going to swarm you and outnumber you and outmaneuver you and probably try to eat you. You're not helping your my case. <laughs> Stop scaring me. What's so scary about them? They're only really black balls of death. That's exactly what makes them so scary. Stop sprouting. Nothing to get down here, so go back up. So, yep. Your first and arguably most important dungeon. I would say yes. Mainly because, well, if you know 3D Zelda's, especially in this game, and, well, Ocarina of Time. Ooh, a beehive. Why would you drop a beehive? Because I don't like them. I don't like beehives. They go screw themselves. Also, I should mention, if you want to put on another mask, you got to take off, like, the Deku scrub and all that. So, yep. That's right, Fairy. This is your second one. Really? A great fairy and a freaking treasure chest? Jeez. But, yep, something to note there. May find three fairies in chest and well, you can't put on another mask while you're being a Deku scrub or anything like that. Only human link can do such a thing. Oh god damn it. It feels like the range of that is a little off. I could be wrong, it just doesn't feel right. Ow! Well screw you! It feels like the range is longer than it looks. Whatever, we're not going to worry about it. Oh, that stench! This place stinks just like that poison swamp! Well, gee, maybe they have a correlation. You ever think about that, Tattle? Jeez. Just narc on more, narc. But yeah, this place is certainly, uh, stinky. What do you think that is? The answer is in but still look fresh. Yeah, it's like it's a torch. No, no, I'm, I'm sure that I just have to poop in it, and then it will weigh this flower. Oh, God! Not a smart move, huh? Right, it de detected weight. So, yeah. There's a dungeon where you may actually be a little reliant on your, um, Deku Scrub form. As much as it sucks being a Deku Scrub, it's very reliable to have it for this place. So, yep, you prepared. You have a straight fairy until third one. Yep, if you can't tell, there's a lot of straight fairies. I believe the exact number is 15 in a dungeon. And, well, they're not required to get, thankfully. So you don't have to go out of your way to get all of them. However, I will say this. You will want to get all the Deku fairies. The, the stray fairies, I mean, the Deku fairies. Because you get them... They'll basically give you a buff to help make the game easier for you. I would highly recommend it. We got a small key, it's to open doors. Which I can see the small keys I have on the lower screen as well. But enough about that small do that small key to a door for now. Let's explore even more. I like it's at least on charting the map as I go forward. Oh no. Turtles. Watch out for these things. 
Yeah, these things are not pleasant. It's a snapper! These things are supposed to be part of their body! So they're invulnerable. Unless, of course, you friggin' hit them from underneath. I gotta stop doing that. So, yep. This is their weakness. You basically gotta wait for them to come over you and then sprout at them. And they basically move like a boomerang. They go from their initial spot back to they, where they were. Either get them on our initial launch forward or get them as they move back, which is probably easier because you have more time to actually plan that one out. I don't think you have to fully sprout out to do it either. As long as you sprout out the moment they do it, I think you're fine. So you don't have to fully burrow underneath. Thank goodness. Freaking turtles. Are these creatures freaking endangered? Isn't every creature that's not human endangered? Let me get this item. Gee, you really have to climb in the chest? You only way to easily do this. Dungeon map. Tap map button, I guess that is. To view the map screen, tap the map to zoom in or out. When zoomed in, slide to check out different areas on the map. Select the floor you wish to view from the bar on the right. So, yep, you can always hit the map button to actually get a good overhead view of everything. You can slide this to look around. Oh, I've been to the first floor of those rooms as well. It gives you access to keys. I want to say something eventually reveals where the great fairies are. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Yeah, I'm probably wrong. I want to say there's something that happens where you can basically, like, kind of be revealed where the fairies are. It's either that or you just want to keep the great fairy mask on when you go through a lot of rooms so you can find them. I just hope I didn't leave one behind. But yeah, I'll basically just say that. Try to find all the stray fairies, all 15 of them, before you leave. Oh, maybe it, Oh no, I was gonna say, maybe some of the compass would help. I forgot. Oh wait, actually, yeah. Oh yeah, certain enemies we have it too. Fourth one. Yeah, you like that? Certain, kill certain enemies may reveal some as well. So, yep. You gotta know your way around. Oh, great, one of these puzzles. This looks pretty light. I'll throw this here. There's a little way to grab it and use so glad to move it. All right, fine. Great. It's like those rooms in the original Majora's Mask in the last couple dungeons, particularly in frickin' second quest. But this torch is still warm. Again, let me throw my poop in. Could you stop the candy throwing poop in the torches? Sorry. I don't like your freaking super obvious tells for things. It's bothering me, all right? Could you said that in the first place? I probably could have. But I want to annoy you. Was it working? No, oh, I can't get in there. Oh, well. You need to get out of my way! What the hell is that? Ah, oh, my back! Oh. Thank you. Fifth grade fairy. Oh, this is going to get annoying. All right, so. It's Deku Stick time. And again, I should have figured I wasn't going to need a magic bean here. They will give you plenty of opportunities to get sticks. So, yeah. You shouldn't need to worry about it all that much. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, of course you are. So, that route was too long. And, well, you can't light the Deku scrub on fire. Not that I would do that, because if they could let you do that, you'd hurt yourself. But pain is good. It keeps one alive! Don't you start that shit with me. You bum! So yeah, move that block back to have a much faster route to get to that torch. Makes sense, don't you think? And there we go! I can enter in that door if I want. Why stop there, though? Yeah, yeah, it's great. They always have those revives, so you keep using them to, uh... There we go. And these are permanent. So I use these in crazy ways. For example, I can open this path. That way they always have the Deku Babas revive, so you at least use them to keep getting sticks. E okay, I thought that was going to hurt. Well, let me as well go in here so I open this door first. 
Also, I might want to be in here. Oh, God! Leave me alone! Come on, you want to go? Want to go, bitch? Yeah, that's right. I thought you would. Come here, buddy. That's right. You see me, don't you? Come on down! Feel pain! It's like these guys think I'm just going to be gullible and fall for their shit every time. I swear, if this is just for a stray fair, I'm going to be a little pissed off. And I, wouldn't ex I would expect nothing to get less out of this game. Oh, actually, it's useful. This might be the compass. I think this will help me locate stray fairies, if I'm not mistaken. Why, it's the compass! Now, many of the dungeons hidden things will appear on the map. Which is nice. I'm pretty sure the stray fairies count amongst them. Although, I can always confirm by doing this. Oh, no, they don't. Never mind. Oh, you do let me know how many stray fairies I found. Five out of 15. So, there we go. See? I was kind of right there. Gee. That's an easy detail to remember. Don't be so smug about it. Sorry. Anyway, let's try to make our way to the first mini boss's place. Now I got the map of the compass. That means I can probably more freely explore this place. But it's time to go make our way to an item that feels like it's very early in the game. Well, it is honestly another problem I have in this game. Makes it feel like they didn't really put a lot of effort, like, into, like, some of the items in this game. Like, it feels so basic with some things. Be careful! I sense a lot of evil here! Really? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Lots of darkness. Oh, no. What a thing to fear. Also, ow, that hurt. I was meant to be watering darkness. I wasn't expecting to feel pain. Yeah. Just keep an eye on these things. Fend them off so they're not going to swarm you. Get away from my fire, you stupid freaking creatures. Oh, looks like I should have gone this way first. Light up the room and protect me! Thank you. Oh, thank goodness. I hate those dark creatures. Did you ever swing your sword after you're, um, you know, done using your Deku stick that's on fire so you don't waste it? There's a straight fairy down there. But yep. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. When you're in a room where there's a straight fairy, the hair of the great fairy mask stands up. It basically gives off a magical aura and starts standing up if it senses there's a, a friggin' stray fairy nearby. So you use that as your hint to determine where the stray fairies are. Okay, so... Ow! It's not the greatest of tells, but it's enough. Also, be careful about falling down. You fall down in the hole, you're gonna go down in a previous room. You know, watch your step in this place. It's maybe the first dungeon, but it's actually somewhat difficult. It's not like Ocarina of Time where they ease you into things in the first three dungeons and then actually give you dungeons you have to put effort in in the second half. Or I guess second two thirds, whatever. Nope, this game expects you to be on your game from the start. So, don't blow it. Ugh, okay, good, I made it. Oh no, why are we going backwards? Actually, I guess this is an easier way now. Leave me alone, you stupid freaking dragonflies! Not putting up with you. You guys get all rotten hell. So you always use a great fairy mask to determine if there is a fairy around the room. And you don't know where to find it. You got a fairy in a bubble? Pop it open. It'll come over to you. That's the seventh one! Jeez. Yeah, these dungeons are, like, maybe a little shorter than Ocarina of Time's, like, last dungeons, but they're still pretty irritating. Look! Up here we have a better view of the shrine below! Yeah, that we do. And we hit this. I have a ladder now! Two ladders now! Good, a shortcut back up. I can use that. Oh, look at that! Stray fairy. I was honestly kind of guessing that, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, I see. Now look at the map. It's showing where you previously got stray fairies before. That's what it is. 
So then if you happen to redo the dungeon, which by the way, you may have to redo dungeons. Not the rooms, but finding the stray fairies. In case the cycle runs out. Oh boy, Dinolfos. If that thing is breathe fire. A Dinolfos? He's talking about this while I'm fighting. Watch out for its fighting breath. Oh, but you can't defend fire. So, yep, they're upgraded from the friggin' Ocarina of Time. However, a few slashes will take care of it. Just block its rigorous swings and dodge its fire breath. Jeez, I can't believe they can breathe fire. What a dick. Either way with that, here comes the most useful tool in the game because it's the only upgrade you'll get for dungeons because it's fucking stupid. It's the Hero's Bow! Set it to item slots. Press the corresponding button to equip. Press again to draw the bow. Release to shoot. You can also use L to automatically aim at a target. Also realize I don't need bombs now for this dungeon. So I'm just going to put those away for now. Yeah, I believe you can also use the uh, Taku Flowers to hurt them. If you want to do it that way, I haven't actually fight. But that's just ridiculous. So I have this. I use my gyroscope aiming to do that. Release your targets when the arrow points to exactly what you want. Do that way, you should not have a problem. Hopefully not have a problem. Oh, thank you for the arrows. I can use those. Hey, it didn't tell me how they, what those are. <laughs> I saw my arrows go up, but I don't know what happened. Dude, can you take some hints for yourself? <laughs> no, the game needs to tell me everything. You poor little bitch. Sorry. Uh, I'm giving this game a bit of a hard time for no reason right now. Well, that was just me being a little dick. Oh, this thing sucks. It's a gecko. It's pretty angry. It's pretty weak, too. It really shouldn't be making a fool of you. I agree. So there we go. Nah, boo boo. I'm gonna kill you. Is that riding a turtle? It's a snapper! Yeah, thanks. Yep, remember the weakness of the snappers! Wait for it to come at you! And fling him off! What the? He's basically gonna keep trying to ride on the turtle, so... Get him off! And hunt him down! Which I think I have to use the, uh... Yep, gotta use the boat arrow to hunt him down! Unfortunately, he's invincible when he's on the turtle, so you can't just keep shooting an arrow at him. I thought so. I thought it was worth trying. Ah! So, yep. And you also get arrow drops from these, so... Use L-Tar, you hunt him down. Unfortunately, you can only get one shot on him at a time, which is stupid. We will slash him afterwards. Oh, come on! Like, you think I'm gonna let you get away with that, bro? Go ahead, stop moving. After three more shots, the arrow is dead. And the turtle is dead, too. Oh, my God. What, were you spiritually contracted to deal with that? Oh, no, he turned to a frog. We'll need to know that later, unfortunately, as it is. Yeah, sorry, frog. Wish I could help you, but I really can't. Because this game's a dick. I don't have the right thing for that. I need a certain mask. That's how this game works. You need masks for everything, because every mask has a separate purpose, whether it's actually helpful or not. By the way, here's the boss key. Now get into the chamber where the boss lurks. Well, thank you for that. <sighs> now, excuse me, I'll be on my way. So, yep, you have to deal with that, so you get the boss key. And you get us over the map. And that door up ahead. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong room. Idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Either way, I gotta go over here. We can now go to where the boss lurks if we wish. Which I gotta remember to get out of here eventually. So I can actually make my way over. If I need to. May as well go in that room, I guess. I'm gonna go back to look for stray fairies. Although I should probably think about doing that now. Oh yeah, I have another function now. Uh... I can do that now, right? Pretty sure I can. Ah, I see. Over here! 
You want to help make things easier on yourself? Oh, right. You also need to be a human to actually stop down these switches because Deku scrubs are light. Good to remember. Well, there we go. That's nice. Hey, I'm trying to tell you something. The storage still work too. I'm trying to tell you something. Pick up my hint for the lo- Ah! Blake, are you serious right now? Did you really just try to freaking dive into a freaking solid ground, you idiot? You try to go in the water. Yeah, it still doesn't make up for the fact he just did something incredibly stupid. By the way, wow, that was for another stray fairy. Wow, thank you. I'm so happy you revealed that to me. Where would I be without you? No! Living. I'd be living without your freaking asshole attitude. Okay. So now that I did that, there's a flame that showed up somewhere. I want to use it. But how? Oh, right. So. So they also carry it over for Ocarina of Time. You can shoot arrows through fire to light them. And then those lit fire arrows can then spread their fire elsewhere. So, yep, that's how you make use of these. So, yeah, make use of them that way. Now I have a platform that spins so they can get around to other places with it. Good. Makes it very easy to use this thing. And now I gotta figure out how to do this. Because this is gonna be fun. And, well, if you can't guess, eh. This is probably for. Oh, that was to actually get forward. I didn't even realize that door was caged up. I just wanted to do that. I'll explore the rest of these rooms later. I was like, I thought this place had a lot more depth to it, but I guess not. Wow, this room is big. That's cool. Yeah. We got these crystal switches again that you need to use to activate things. They may only go over a certain time limit, unfortunately. Or right, also, I could dive. Only for um, three lengths, I guess, however you want to put it. But I can't dive much. Pretty sure upgrades for those exist in this game again, too. So, I guess we'll get. Ow! Getting the scales one way or another. Excuse me, I'm trying to get money. Amongst other things, at the very least. Oh, I guess we can get back up. Yeah, there's a lot of straight berries in this room. There's a lot of them in here. And also, in case you're going to ask, yes, all of them are, in fact, in dungeons. You're not going to find any outside the dungeon or anything like that. Or back of, like, anywhere around the woods. It's actually all throughout the temple. So don't worry. We're not going to be missing any due to weird circumstances. So I wouldn't worry about it. So, yes, don't worry about it. Now, oh, excuse me. Eh. I want to get up here. For another straight fairy. The eleventh one. Good, we are making progress. And progress is a good thing. If only there an easier way. Ooh. Oh, wow, another one here. And I was just running around for the heck of it. Well, at least they have plans for you to get materials and stuff you need. Whatever you want to call those materials. You see, there's so many things in this room. It's ridiculous. Hmm. Ah, uh, I get your game. I get your game. Damn it! That means I screwed up anyway. You're not dead yet. Now you're dead. <laughs> wow! Well, I'm fine. Oh, shit! Ah! I'm not fine. I'm dying anyway. That's because you don't know where you're going. Says I. The one who directs your fate. Because he doesn't know where you're going either. But, well, we're almost at the end of the dungeon already. But you don't have to get all the stray fairies on your initial visit. It wasn't obvious. You can always come back and do it again later, but... Better off not doing that if you can help it. Screw you, by the way. 
Oh, deflect it off him. Well, that was cool. Oh, God! Yeah, throw it a flyer, by the way. You friggin' are basically dead. So... Ow! They kill you off. Also, you are at a much greater risk to fools as a Deku scrub. Because you're brittle and made of wood. And a bitch. Have you not understood that yet? You are a bitch as a Deku scrub. Oh, man. I'll have to kill these guys again. I guess so. You asshole! Oh, shit! Well, at least I'm not dead yet. You wanna come down here and fight me like a real man? That's right! Fight me like a real man! That is how you die. I gotta remember he used a bow and arrow, I forgot. They can pierce through the Skulltoss armor to actually hit their weak spot. Because you got their stomachs, which they hide from you a lot of times. And you got the back spot, which is basically the skull has an opening. So, use that to your advantage. See? Was that so hard? Apparently, it's always hard. Oh my. Ahem. Anyway. Eh. Well, thanks for getting in the way anyway, I guess. There we go. Just the tip. I see. So. Eh, actually, maybe you still take damage to the same height of falls. I just assume being a Deku Scrub, they make it more painful. Because everything's more painful when you're not a human boy. You're not a human boy. I must feel pain. Jeez, what a sad life for you if you feel like you have to feel pain. But I do have to feel pain. Just in case. Oh, shit. Okay, I was on a timer, though. Okay. So now let's figure out how to get up there. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing that I should be seeing. I can see that. Also, I kind of want to go back and look for more stray fairies. So I think I'm going to do that. There's not any in this room. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go hunt down more stray fairies. We did this dungeon next time. We are close to the end. I have the bow and arrow now, so... I can finally shoot a lot of things. I can do some those sh damn shooting galleries. Now I can actually play that game that that one guy wanted me to do. Eh. All right, so let me see. Is there a fairy in this room? I don't think so. I thought I'd at least explore my options at the very least. Yeah, there's probably nothing else in here. I don't know why I thought there would be a stray fairy in here. Remember, the hair lifts up when it notices there's a room with a stray fairy inside. And there will never be one in the boss room, in case you're curious. That's just stupid. Okay, there's definitely one in here. Hmm. Why do I feel like it's on the water somewhere. We're in the water? So remember, the glittering will let you know there's a fairy somewhere. So that means, basically, as long as you see that hair standing up, look around the room. As long as you do that, break everything in the room until you can find it. I don't think it'll give you an actual indication if it's close by unless you actually, you know, find it. So, yeah. I think it's the way I'm probably to break up top. That's probably where it is. Also, let me check this room. Nine here. Damn it! I thought I was on to something. Never enough. Never enough. Oh, yeah, I should probably go back to the beginning of the dungeon to try to actually activate the, uh, save. Now that you can have an owl statue in here, but I can still save at the very least. Ah, that's where you are, you stupid thing. 
That's definitely where it was. What the hell? It's a giant bee! Don't ask me! You can either fight or run! It's up to you! I killed it. And it did nothing! I thought I could fight a thing, but it did nothing for me! I wanna feel like it's... I feel like it is in the water. Oh! There's another one right there. Check that, then. Yay! I found it! Oh, we're so close. Oh, yeah, I should probably go back and end this episode. Let me go to that same statue up front. As stupid as it is. Hey! I'm trying to work here! Do you mind if I run around? Clearly they do. Well, screw them, then. They're mean. Ow! Oh, God! Actually, I want to go this way. Fastest way for me to get back. As annoying as it is. All right, well, hey, at least I'll say this. They didn't have save anything in Dungeons in the Nintendo 64 version. So at least they have a way for you to save it all. Thank God. And with that, I'll end this episode here. So, come back next time. And we are going to finish off this dungeon. This is to locate the last great fairy. And when I do, last great fairy, excuse me, we will finish off the dungeon. We are in the last room anyway, so what I do is just finish my way up there. I'll figure out that puzzle one way or another, even if it kills me. It already killed you numerous times.